we got this thing here that I wanted to talk about today. So this is the drama that's been going on on Twitter with Kevin, aka KVX Art. If you guys don't know Kevin, this is Kevin. Kevin is one of the biggest VTuber riggers out there. He's very, very well known. He's rigged for, as you can see, Iron Mouse. And yeah, a lot of the V Shoujo girls have a Kevin rig. He's worked with a lot of very high profile clients. He recently got into some hot water because this other VTuber artist slash live 2D rigger, Suika, they kind of called Kevin out because Kevin has a Patreon, which Okay, there's a lot of things to talk about here. When you go on his Patreon, you can see that you can get different things like VTuber assets or learning stuff. He's, he's got some things on here, man. He's got some things on here. Okay. Anyways, he uses a Marin model. His main file that you can download and look at for when you're like, how does Kevin rig bodies? It's like a file for educational content. So a lot of people have bought this Marin model a lot. A lot of people. Turns out that this Marine model that he has still had a lot of Photoshop files on it. So basically, when you first open up Live2D, I should probably mention it that I am also an artist in Live2D rigger. I'm very heavily involved in this community. Let me explain to you how this program works, okay? Okay, this is what Live2D looks like. If I open up a file here, let's open up my made file. Why not? All right, so this is Live2D. You got your VTuber model here. You got all of the parameters and junk here. That's not important. What's important is when you click on this thing up here, project, whoop, open that, source image, boom. All of the Photoshop files are right there. Anytime you import a Photoshop file into Live2D, it keeps track of it. Now the issue that has come with this is the fact that on Kevin's Marine file, he's got full Photoshop things on there as well, which is obviously really, really, really bad. That means that he leaked some people's Photoshop files. So Suika showed this. Yes, there is an option that you can export the Photoshop file. If someone gives you the working file of the Live 2D project, you can pull the Photoshop file out of it. I've had to do this for clients before where they have an issue with their Photoshop file, so I have to open up that file, and this is one way that you can grab it from it. Also, Kevin has rigged one of my VTuber kids as models as well. You guys know Glitch? I don't know how much I want to talk about this. Fun fact too, Glitch is my only VTuber art child, I should say. I don't have any other VTuber kids where I've only done the art for them. Either I'm doing the rigging for it, Jess is the rigging, or I do both art and rigging. I stop doing only art. I mean, I can tell you why. It's because I think that the rigging process is super, super duper fun. Okay, look, so this is Glitch's VTuber model. This is my girl. I love her. There's some changes that Kevin made when he when he rigged the model. I'm gonna be honest, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I think it's more important that Glitch was happy with the end results. But yeah, Kevin did work on one of my VTuber models. When I saw that the thing was leaked, I'm gonna be kinda honest, I was worried. <laughs> I was sort of sitting there, all of this stuff went down, and I was just like, oh, that's not good. And then I was like, wait a minute, am I involved in this? <laughs> Do you know if yours got leaked or not? I have no idea. I have no idea whether it got leaked or not. So yeah, there, there was, that was that, that was that. Yeah, so Kevin then put out a statement on it. He said, I do sincerely apologize for the accidental leakage of Photoshop files during the transfer of source files. I was informed of this issue a long time ago and have since quickly removed the affected files and ceased the practice. I was not technically aware of the implications during my early days experimenting with Live 2D. I apologize to the clients affected going forward. I have disciplined myself and now fully aware of the significance of privacy and copyright. I'm just surprised that he didn't know. <laughs> like the first time I opened up Live 2D, I saw, oh look, this is where it keeps the Photoshop files. So I'm just kind of surprised that someone who has been in this industry for that long is that he was unaware of that. How did this even come to be, you know? You would think that if you have a file that you're working on, it would only be linked to that specific Photoshop file, right? Well, the issue is that he was using templates for all of his work. I don't have an issue with templates. I think templates are smart. Brother, you gotta get your bag, you know what? I mean templates are smart I don't use templates because I'm an idiot and also I'm lazy I think I I'm just gonna do all of the work from scratch I'm a little idiot templates are fine if you make it known is this kind of a hot take too I don't think that you, people need to say whether they're using a template or not. Not gonna lie. I don't think that the process is all that important. I think that in this case, the end result is more important. Like, I don't know. Is that kind of, is that kind of up to say?
you can use a template as a base and then after that you just work on it even more to make it look like it's custom personally made work to use on multiple projects is smart it was being abused in this case mm, that's fair that's fair yeah i think that in the end if the product looks like it was custom made then you're good to go however i think in the case of kevin it was pretty obvious that he was using templates there was a lot of issues with his work but people don't really care because he's such a big rigger people just sort of wanted the name with him do you mean you got blocked by him yet i did it i did it we can talk about his personality and things later but right now i just want to focus on the professional side of things i got a question what is a template Ah, okay, this is what I wanted to find. This is live 2D puppeteering stuff. As you can see, you can make custom body templates. Regardless, I feel like hiding the fact that templates were used from the client still feels a little wrong. I think that's fair. Yeah, that's totally fair. I guess for me, it was just obvious that Kevin was using a template the whole time. But maybe that's just because, like, I am a live 2D rigger. Like, it doesn't make sense that he's able to put out a rig in, like, one week's time. Clearly, it wasn't obvious to the average person, people who weren't looking very closely at his work. I think it's more important that you make it look like it wasn't from a template. So that's really where he effed up, dude. <laughs> Besides all the leaking stuff, too. He just made it too obvious. That's just the work of a rookie, dude. He made it too obvious. Nah, I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. So he would open up live 2D. He's got this template of Marine on there. He drags over the Photoshop files. He deletes the Marine art and just sticks the client's art over it, over that template, which is why when you opened up the Marine file, if he forgot to delete the Photoshop files, which he did, that's why you could find entire Photoshop files of other clients that he'd worked with. There's sort of a theme going on here, and that is negligence. Not gonna lie, being able to streamline your work like that, it's smart. However, he did it in a dumb way. <laughs> what I found was really interesting was Nano Less posted this. If you guys don't know Nano, Nano is a very, very famous artist. Nano Less has worked on a lot of VTuber models as well. So then Nano posted this, calling out Kevin, basically says, I hate this because this should be the original chest and he modified it without my knowledge. I clearly state that I offer free fixing for the rigor until the model is done and good. So look at this. This was on Iron Mouse's model. This was what it originally looked like. You see all the shading and then this was the final product. Kevin does state in his TOS that he will like draw over things and stuff. By signing this contract, the client on behalf of themselves and the artists give consent to Kevin to the modification of the source artwork Photoshop file. He might edit repaint, further layer the source artwork. This may create minor visual differences compared to the original art due to rigging technical limitations. So yeah, he does have it in his TOS that he will modify artwork. I don't know why you would want to modify Nano's artwork though. Look how pretty it is. As you can see, Nano was pretty mad about this dude. She says right here, I clearly state that I offer free fixing for the rigger until the model is done and good. After all of this went down, there's there were a lot of people on Twitter also being like, I never want Kevin to rig my vtuber child so then kevin puts out a statement and he's like i have read all your comments and i will one transparently disclose my use of rigging templates two i will not make modifications without the artist's consent and respectfully consider feedback on the final product number three i will not reuse your files for template development and ensure your file security number four take the time and care needed to meet clients expectations number five correct my aggressive behavior on the internet and maintain a professional manner so that's like the 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 rundown of all the Kevin drama. Should we also go into talking about like his personality and stuff as well? It's pretty clear from the things that he posts that he's just he's just kind of a weird dude, you know? He's just kind of a de degenerate. And some people vibe with that and some people don't. I think that he's just, he's kind of a degen dude. You guys can have your own personal opinion about Kevin. I wanted to try and keep this as like much on the professional side as possible. He did mention he'd better his aggressive behavior. Yeah, and I hope that he sticks with that. Regarding that, when he was like, I'll fix my aggressive behavior. Anytime something happens and then he gets called out, instead of being like, oh, I'm gonna think about this. He'll do, he'll do stuff like this. He kind of, he's kind of a troll. Looks like his ego was showing. Oh yeah, he's got an ego for sure. If you're like constantly getting criticized on the internet and like getting your character bashed and things, I can see where he's coming from, where you want to lash out at those people, right? Because I too sort of have a personality where we do a little bit of trolling. I understand getting frustrated when people get upset about things and your knee-jerk reaction is to just troll. But I think that's also kind of immature 
when you're a professional and you want to be seen as professional, that's pretty childish and you should probably not do things like this. You could be a little weirdo degen. I don't think people are going to get that mad about being a little weirdo degen unless it becomes something that's illegal. I think that what's important here is just to maintain professionalism and just be better. It's really it. And not leak people's work. Holy smokes, dude. That's a big no-no. I cannot believe that he leaked people's Photoshop files. And I hope that anyone that was affected by this as well, hope you're doing okay out there. That's not fair. You don't deserve that. I'm sorry about that. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe and follow me here on the YouTube channel. There you go. There you go. There you go.